Greetings, opera lovers. Live from beautiful Bloomfield, Connecticut, it's Rona. Here to report on seeing live at the Met, Guillaume Tell by Rossini. I had already heard the first night via radio and was mightily impressed by the singing. And the singing, the orchestral playing, and the chorus were fantastic. And so I was curious about how I would feel about the sets and the production overall. But before I tell you how I feel, here's something anecdotal. I went with another couple who frequent uh, the opera, but not on a regular basis. And at the end, I asked them what they thought. They loved the production, loved it, loved it. Me, not so much. So it goes to show you, to whom are these productions really aimed at? Are they aimed at people who go a lot and are going to be very critical? Or are they aimed at people who are maybe newer to opera, people who like theater in general? Just an interesting question to ponder. So this production uh, was sort of stylized. And here are the things that I didn't like about it. In the, ba in the second ballet, the women were dressed as dominatrixes with whips. The men were dressed in what you would either call gladiator costumes or um, imaginary Nazi stormtroopers. There were also movable sets that looked like either scaffolding or um, empty um, alpine homes. There was a beautiful uh, boat that floated above the, the stage that was just the ribs of the boat that you could see the wood. The lighting was outstanding because it was extremely stylized and just big bars of beams of light. And they added to the drama when the chorus would sing. Uh, I, I liked that very much. The costumes, the, most of them, most of the uh, chorus members wore some shade of white, as did William Tell, and as did Arnold, his son, as did his wife and daughter. Good people in white, bad people in black. Okay. So another thing about the production is that it doesn't move a lot. Although my friends who saw it thought it moved a lot. They thought the chorus moved. I, I just uh, found that aspect of the production not to my liking. So I thought you'd like to hear both sides of the story. Well, I'd already spoken about the singing before, but here it is from live in the house perspective. Starting with William Tell. Gerald Finley is a, is a singer with such style and commitment. He makes a great character out of William Tell. He's very sympathetic. You sort of feel for him. Um, but I don't think it's an overly luxuriant voice, but good enough. Marina Rebecca playing Matilda. Now there is a star voice. In many of the reviews I read, I heard the word or read the word steely. I just didn't hear it. I find her voice to be very, uh, like, like a calm, with like a calm ripple in the water. Just uh, elegant, smooth. She can pop out those high notes. There's a little coloratura for her to do. Excellent. Brian Emil playing the punishing role, role of Arnold held his own very well against all those C's and C sharps. And he also makes a complete portrayal of Arnold, who as far as I'm concerned is sort of the hero of the opera. And of course he is the tenor. And he gets the girl. And nobody dies at the end. Hooray! There are other smaller roles that had outstanding singing, and I'm only going to mention the ones. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheat and look at my program. Number one for the outstanding other singers, actually tied for number one, was Sean Penneker playing the role of 
Rodolphe. He was in one of those Nazi stormtrooper co costumes. And uh, another tenor wa uh, was um, uh, Ruodi Michele Angelini. Excellent. Maria Zivchak playing the wife of Tell is a very reliable mezzo. I've heard her many times and she's really good. And as I had heard on the radio, a superb soprano, Janai Brugger. I also read some negative things about her. Like, weren't those people listening to the same opera I was hearing? Well, one cannot um, talk about this opera. Oh, I forgot. John Relier as Gessler was also, it's the best I've heard him in years, menacing and full-bodied. But now, getting back to the, the real stars of the Met, the orchestra, the chorus, the conductor. Orchestra, what can you say? Lucky to have them here in the United States. The orchestra, fabulous. And of course, in the great William Tell Overture, we get so many solo turns by the cello, the oboe, the flute, the brass, first class. The conductor was Fabio Luisi. I thought he did a magnificent job of putting this opera on and keeping up the pace, keeping everything together. A little special note, at the end of the opera, the orchestra threw flowers at him. I, I don't know if this was his last scheduled appearance at the Met or not, but if it was, what a tribute by the orchestra members. Well, tonight is Manolisco, so I have no more time to talk. I'll see you around. Have a great day, and don't forget to listen tonight.